And welcome back to the Daily Nine. Yes, welcome back. <laughs> now already we're excited to talk about the art. But before that, let's give us a little bit of info. Now, Art Stage Indonesia's premium international art fair announced that it's full program for the second edition, edition that's right. of the fair in Jakarta to be held in the second week of August. And some of the programs includes an art award that yes. will be held for the first time by Art Stage on the 9th of August this, this year. year. That's right. And we have MNC World News Mandana Nawani to tell us more about it. The second installment of Art Stage Jakarta will be held on the 11th of August this year, continuing to support Indonesian art and strengthening the bridge between the global art world and Indonesia. Founder and president of Art Stage Lorenzo Rudolph addressed the press conference, stating that it will be the first time an art award to appreciate Indonesian artists will be held on the 9th of August this year. The award will include 13 categories including Best Gallery, Best Curator, Best Exhibition and Best Artists. It will also include two Lifetime Achievement Awards and a Bineka Art Award to honor local artists that stand for unification. Rudolf also stated that it is about time for Indonesian art to be put on the world stage, as it is Southeast Asia's largest and most dynamic contemporary art scene. So we asked him what does Indonesia have that the other Asian countries don't? I think it has a lot to do with your history. Uh, probably since today, the biggest collector you ever had in your country was your first president, Sukarno. And for him, artists were not only creators of artwork. Artists for him were really partners also, and in a certain way also partners in his revolutionary way. And when he went to Georgia Carter, when he started also his entire uh, uh, war against uh, the colonialism, all the artists were with him. And since then, you have in Indonesia something which is unique, I think in entire Asia, maybe even in the world. Preview of some of the collection for the upcoming exhibition was showcased at the Galleries Lafayette for guests and the media. Vandana Nanwani, MNC World News, Jakarta. And now let's talk more about it. The event Art Stage Jakarta 2017 and joining us here are the founder, the president of it, Lorenzo Rudolph, and one of the judges of Bineka uh, Award, Enin Suprianto. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Can you believe it's been one year now since the last time is flying? Stage to I was That's thinking right. the same. But wh how was the success rate though of the previous? Art Stage As I must say, the previous year was really a success and that's at the end why we can grow this year. Mm. And that was the first time that you yes, had it, yeah? Yes, it was the first time that you had an international art mm. fair like that. And I think this international art fair showed a lot to many people. First of all, it put Jakarta on an international map. Mm. Second, it showed that you can do in Jakarta a fair as you can do in Berlin mm. or in New York. Mm. Third, it showed that the, the, uh, the art scene here is really not only a local scene, it's a scene which is internationally open, wants to go out, mm. and we could really create there a certain dialogue. Mm. Result of it, we had much, much more interested gallery who want to come. Last year we had 50 gallery, we bring them all in the hall, okay, fine. This year we had to extend the fair, we have around 100 exhibitors and we have still a waiting list. That is double so, already. Wow. Oh, and, and how did it contribute to, you know, the artists here or, or the, the, the art in Indonesia, basically? At the end, for us, it's important that a fair here has to be, in a certain way, a bridge between Indonesia and the art world. It is a platform where we want to support, to foster the best of Indonesia, where we also want to give place and chance to new talents. But at the same time, not only positioning that in Indonesia, but show also to the world what happens here. And at the same time, bring the world to Indonesia in form of art, of galleries, of artists, but also of collectors. And to create here something which is a unique dialogue between Indonesia and the world. We have to be clear, contemporary art is nothing national. Contemporary art is something global. But the world has to realize what happens here. And I think that is our goal and responsibility. And uh, by creating that bridge, I know you mentioned last year that Indonesia is actually one of the biggest, the second biggest uh, collector in Asia. Mm -hmm. but how do you see the demand so far in terms of the market? 
Yet the demand is still there. I think the demand is, is even growing. Because what you see more and more in Indonesia, everywhere in Asia, but in the world, contemporary art becomes something like a lifestyle. It's no more only something very academical you see only in museums, or you have to go in a gallery. You go today in every boutique, in every flagship store, there is not one big brand without cooperation with artists. As if, in other words, art becomes much, much, much more known everywhere. And especially with a young generation, they grow up with that. But we have to tell them maybe also that art is not only what is on a, let's say, on a, on a bag of Gucci, but it can also be something else. And now we have to bring the people really to the source of art, and that's mm. it. Yeah. And in terms of the image of Indonesia's talent now, Indonesia artwork, yep. how do you see it so far after you released the first one in 2016? Uh, do people now globally uh, know more about Indonesia art? A couple of weeks ago, I was in Switzerland in Basel. And I was there because the biggest art fair, the biggest art event of the world happened. And every year, the most important newspaper of Switzerland, which is one of the most important in the German-speaking world, it's like the New York Post of the German world, they made a supplement, 10 pages. <laughs> Nine pages were about special artists. Nothing really about art balls of the big event. And then, wow, an entire page about Indonesia. So with other words, you see, Indonesia becomes more and more recognized. And what I always said, I remember our talk last year, yeah. Indonesia has the talent, has the creativity. What the lack was, was the infrastructure. Yeah. And you need an infrastructure, the bridge, the bridge. to go over the river. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that more and more happens now. You want to have a new museum opening, we have an art fair. And if we have both the creativity as well as the infrastructure, I think yeah. the future is open. Huh? Yeah. Right. And in terms of, let's say, collectors, you also mentioned that you know, Indonesia is the second biggest collectors. But when you see an art fair such as last year, are there more pa passive observers, people who just come to look, or are there more people in Indonesia who yeah. comes to buy? Maybe like, Amin can add buyers. this one too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, we have, uh, not only in Jakarta, in other okay. cities like Semarang, Jogja, you have more and more uh, young people who are eager to learn and to know about art you mm. know uh, almost every uh, a lot of art spaces in jakarta if they uh, organize an mm. event you know an exhibitions and they uh, popularize it or inform the public using the most current available uh, social Show media yeah. that mm. this young generation mm -hmm. very much mm. uh, attached to uh, they come, you know, they, mm. they come and enjoy and they share this information with their friends. So that's why uh, in many uh, of these exhibitions or art events, you, you, we, we, we are seeing more and more actually of this young Younger. very young, who really enjoy to, to enjoy their time and, 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 and appreciate art, you know. Right. So yeah, uh, it's it's a growing public uh, mm -hmm. definitely, and I think uh, even in the market we have uh, uh, very very young collectors, mm -hmm. not even in their forties, mm -hmm. who start let's say investing their time, uh, their their money in 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 uh, starting building their 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 art collections mm -hmm. uh, in Indonesia as well. There are 40s. quite a lot. Under 40s, yeah, yeah. Wow. under 40s, yeah, yeah. But when start to collect yeah, and build their collections. And what is really also interesting, if you go around in this world, mm -hmm. you see all these big elder generation Indonesian collectors, they go, but they are together, that's it. Mm -hmm. You have these young collectors, they build associations, they mm -hmm. take contact with young collectors in the Philippines, uh, yep. with young collectors in Thailand, they begin to dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's a totally other approach. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. But when it comes to the art stage itself, a platform for all yeah. the arts, a bridging you mentioned, right? Now, do you cater more to the younger or do you cater more to, you know, like more older uh, collectors? We need both. We need both. Also, we have still, to be clear, the older collectors that are in a somewhere, the people mm -hmm. who really opened the door, the leaders. But we have today a new generation which is taking over this world. As mm. It's not only in the art like that, it's everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. like that. <laughs> and uh, what we do, for example, last year we did 
and it was the first year, and that's the reason I did it. We made, for example, a wonderful exhibition about Afandi. Mm -hmm. Let's look back the history, the art history of Indonesia. Let's show your big master. Mm -hmm. This year we say, no, let's look ahead. We don't have only to look back. And that's the reason why we want to do a very special sector which is dedicated to something which I think mm -hmm. is not even typical Indonesia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jakarta is a global city today. Yeah. Is a mega city with an urban culture, with an urban way of living. Yeah, an urban way of living at mega city has also an impact of, on art. Mm. You have more and more also, you, I think you mentioned it, yeah. street artists, urban artists. Yeah. And that's the reason why we created an entire space, I would say an entire hall, where we really want to show Indonesia as an urban art space in a context with other urban art spaces, that means we have artists from all over Southeast Asia mm -hmm. and all these artists are in a context with European artists. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they even create together works especially for that and mm -hmm. that's at the end is the world. Mm -hmm. It's no more the individual here, the individual there. It's collaborations exactly. between yeah. exactly. all countries. Exactly. All right. And okay. we have exactly. the dynamic market as mm -hmm. well here in terms of youngsters. Yes, right? and yeah. also the age and all. All colors, all of, uh, variations. Yes. All right. okay, we'll we're speak about 2017 Japanese art stage. stage. That's right the after the break. So we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back now, still with our two guests here. Yes. Now, let's speak about the 2017 event. Mm. So it's going to be bigger and better. And in terms of exhibitors, can you tell us more about it? Like last year, we try to have a balance between local, that means Indonesian mm. and international. Also, we don't want the dominance from the one side, we want the dialogue. And we want in a certain way a dialogue on the same level. So also this year, we want to have the same. But what we increased really, I think, dramatically is, is, the, is the quality. Mm -hmm. At the end, an art fair or an exhibition, important is not how big it is, it is important how good it is. Mm -hmm. And that's at the end also what we did. I think there is not one gallery from Indonesia which has a certain level, has a certain mm -hmm. background, which is not present. Mm -hmm. All the best ones are only there, at, that's the only fair they do. And we changed quite a lot of galleries from abroad. And we have now a gallery, some galleries which are really uh, are among the top, top galleries in the world. As a, for example, a gallery from Japan called Tom Yokoyama. He was the original gallery of Murakami yeah. and so on. As a, with other words, it's important also not only to create a dialogue, but to bring the dialogue always on a higher level. And not only to show the best of the best, but I think that's also, let's say, a challenge for younger people, for younger artists to see what it means mm -hmm. and to follow. It's also an educational factor. And I think an art fair is not only a marketplace, and especially in a country like Indonesia, where we don't have so many museums and public spaces, an art fair is also a temporary museum. I think there is no other space or other place in Indonesia where you have in such a short time, such a comprehensive overview over the contemporary art of today. Mm -hmm. And well, I, I you spoke about that uh, last year, that it's not about uh, making a festival. It's a, it's a scene, mm -hmm. basically. At the end, it's, it is a scene, it is an exhibition, it has always to be quality. It's often I compare it with in ancient Rome, you have the forum. That was the place where you were trading merchandise, market. That's the place where you met each other, where you became friend, where you be discussed, debate, where you had parties <coughs> and so on. All that is an art fair. At the end, art and contemporary art is part of our daily life. And the art for is a platform for our daily life. Mm. What about a special edition? Last year you had a fundy. Yep. Any this year? Well, who's going? Who are we seeing? Oof, we have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. As I said, we have an entire hall where we dedicate, mm -hmm. dedicated to the urban art. Urban art again, Indonesia in a context with entire Southeast mm -hmm. Asia, because I think it's very, very important to build up these connections, connect it to Europe. We have on the other side uh, multimedia, new media we want to show in the art. Again, let's look ahead. Mm -hmm. We want to have an installation which is gorgeous, spectacular, by uh, a young group of artists here of Indonesia, interactive. Also, even if I have no clue about art, I become part of an artwork mm -hmm. and I can 
experience it. We want to have an entire sector which we call the Art Square, where we want to give, again looking ahead, to young galleries, artist collectives, art institutions, that means all these players which are crucial for a, a vibrant art world, which maybe have mm -hmm. not the budget to go to an art fair, yeah. but they have to be in, again, uh, the forum, everybody has to come together. Yeah. We want to have, again, a exhibition with works from private collectors, mm -hmm. this time not the established ones, mainly young ones. Oh. As again, now, okay, Let's look ahead. Let's see where we go. So I, I, I see you're, you're aiming towards the younger generation this time, yeah, for the art stage. You More than last year. More yeah. than last year. I think the first it was important to make a statement. Mm. And the statement means also, also that for the young generation, they have also to understand contemporary art has also history. Mm. Without an Afandi, you don't have a Maserati and all yeah. these things. <laughs> but <coughs> you should not only look back. Okay. Now let's bring the established collectors mm -hmm. and show them what is the future. And, mm -hmm. and if you bring them together, it's fine. And now you have the special one, is Bineka Award, and you're one of the judges as well there. Yeah. Can you tell us more about it? Well, this is uh, one... The idea actually uh, very much similar to uh, what Lorenzo Arsic uh, in Singapore, uh, they already did this... Uh, uh, it's called Joseph Ballestier Award. So the idea is giving recognition to artists that we consider uh, through their art practices giving a very uh, strong impact to their society. It's almost like the outreach of their ar artistic practices uh, actually goes beyond uh, art. He, he, with the Joseph Ballester Awards, it's the issues about the freedom of speech, human rights in general, so human rights uh, issues in general. So uh, this year we we would like to uh, to 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 bring this uh, idea into the local context, into the Indonesian context. So that's why we uh, we introduced this Bineka Award. The Bineka Award will will. <coughs> is mainly looking at uh, those artists that we consider through their practices mm. they contribute to this idea mm. of uh, uh, inclusive tolerance attitudes that keep us uh, together as a nation mm. Mm. you know uh, so this is i think very relevant of uh, of, uh, of uh, the issues of mm. uh, of of uh, the the thing that we would like to to really uh, bring forward to, mm. to the public you know and there are artists that uh, really in their own way uh, expressing their uh, expressing uh, and 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 bringing forward this kind of issues that we hopefully you know we so can how many learn artists in it nomination hmm? how many nominations yeah. or uh, well, participants in it mm, of course through uh, we 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 gather inputs, information from many different parties, uh, uh, those professionals uh, uh, who, uh, people who actively engage with the Indonesian arts scene. And we try to, of course, we cannot put a long list. Mm. So we, we have at least uh, three names that oh. we would like to, to, there will be panel of jury that mm. will decide we'll later, decide who wins, later so. on who's going to be mm. the, Nominated. well, recipient. I'm not going to use the words winner because okay. this is not an award with a competition oh. base. Okay. It's a really, really about recognitions, mm. giving, giving, giving recognition to such an artist who, who already contribute uh, uh, into the strengthening idea of, uh, to strengthen the idea of uh, uh, diversity, uh, unity and diversity, you know, in, in, in their own way. Yeah. But it shows also what contemporary or what art is. Yeah. Mm. Art is a statement. Mm. Art is a position. Mm. And that can be a political position or not. And I think that is also what the people have to understand. It's not decoration. Mm. And that's the reason why we thought yep. it's important that also we make this statement clear. Yeah. Now, there's also an activity actually leading on towards the uh, Art Stage Jakarta, the Atmosphere 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Can you tell us a bit more about that? There is a lot of activity because mm -hmm. also this Binek Award 
is only part of a huge award. Mm. Also what we created this year, it will be an Indonesian Oscar. That means we want to give 13 Oscars, 13 categories, the best of the best. We want to do it in a way never done in the art world before. I think the problem with art is always, it's not objective, so what is good, what yeah. is bad. You can take an expert here, an expert there, both are right, but both tell you something else. So we created a, an award where the entire Indonesian art scene, 200, the 200 best, most important curators, artists, collectors, critics, academics, they are the jury, they vote. And we don't only want to give an award to the best statement, political statement, Bineka, or to the best artist, but we also want to honor the best curator, the best exhibition, the best art publication, we want to foster this entire system. And this will then final, be finalized in an Oscar ceremony <laughs> the day before the opening, that means on Thursday night in the auditorium of the French Institute, huge gala event, etc. But the fair starts already at the beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. Because we said, at the end, if we want A, on the one side, position Jakarta as really a destination, we need more than only a fair. We need a vibrant city where people want to come. And on the other side, if we want to integrate more people, we have to go out of the ivory tower. We cannot always only be in the hall or in a museum or in a gallery. And that's the reason why we created this so-called Art Stage Week. That means from Monday to the end of the week, with the climax then the fair, you want to have every day a lot of events. You want to have exhibition openings, special uh, receptions and exhibitions, special exhibitions, but not only exhibitions, all cultures, concerts, etc. Mm -hmm. Four cultural institutes are participating, four big museums are participating, I think around 10 galleries are participating, and it will really be a bunch of cultural activities. Mm -hmm. And at the end, again, we are the forum, mm -hmm. and things should happen. Mm -hmm. All right, so what is your target engagement mm -hmm. now this year that you try to aim, especially from this uh, 2017 event? I think what I said before, I have, the f I have a certain responsibility to help this vibrant scene here get exposure. Mm. As I said, you have probably one of the most interesting, most vibrant, highest quality creative scenes in entire Asia. Mm. But the world is not knowing it enough. And even in Indonesia, you're limited to see all these things because there is a limitation, as I said, of infrastructure. And I think my role and my goal with this fair on a long-term basis is to help to build up this infrastructure, to give certain ideas, to give mm -hmm. certain inputs, to be a partner of, this, of, the, of the creative industry. And logically, short-term speaking, really to create the best of the best of Indonesia, juxtapose it really with the most interesting of the region of international art, and really to create here something which is not only a purely academic, purely commercial, purely whatever event, but really, now I use the word, a festival of art. <laughs> <laughs> festival of art. All right, thank you so much, Lorenzo and uh, Annie. And, and again, we have to... Uh, uh, announce it again Get that our stage yeah. uh, takes place at Sarton Grand Jakarta Gandaria City August 11, August 11 to, to the August 13. 13. That's right. And also, uh, it's there's going to be galleries on the uh, August 7 to 13. And the Atmosphere Road Art Stage in the 1st to the 31st of August. August and at Gallery, Gallery Lafayette. Lafayette. That's right. So, take a look, right? right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank so you so much. much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing with us. And Thank all the you. best for this year's art stage. Thank you.